Hey folks, Justin and Days for you. We have the Sapphire or Radeon RX 7900 XT GPU. We're going to be taking it out of the box, show you what all comes with it. We're going to also be running down through the specs, and I'm going to give you my first impressions of this video for today's video. If you'd like to pick one of these up, there will be a link in the description below. Also, some other links down there may interest you. Don't forget the all that fun YouTube stuff when you're way down in that description box. Without wasting a lot more of your time, let's flip you over and we'll take it out of the box and see what all comes with it, and also see what the specs are of this GPU. There we go, everyone. We got here sitting there in the box. I went ahead and cut the tape off the off camera here. So, and of course I ripped the box already a little bit. Let's take it pulled out. Of course it's all gonna come out in another box if I can get it out. There we go. Nice brown box. I don't know if you guys see down in there. Probably not, but it is empty. And we flip up this flap. And we got styrofoam. At least we know it's gonna be well uh, protected, huh? Style foam on top. What do we got here? This is Sapphire Graphics Storage Quick Install Guide. So it shows you how to install it. It is a pretty easy install when you upgrade your GPU, but you may need that if you haven't done it or if you haven't built a computer before. And we got a little piece of foam here just to kind of help protect it here so it don't move around too much. And we got the GPU inside there, inside the anti-static bag. You got a piece of foam here in the bottom and that should be it. Yep, and that's all that comes in the box with it. All right, and here's the GPU itself. Yeah, outside the anti-static bag here. I know they say that the RX 490 and 480 is pretty beefy cords. This one looks to be pretty beefy itself. Very sturdily made. It's all metal. Uh, of course, the fans are going to be plastic. That is triple triple fan design on the front of it. This is pretty well based off of the reference of AMD reference cords. So it looks an awful lot like a reference cord. Got a little bit of a Radeon logo up there. Looks like it may light up. Which, uh, We'll see if it see if it lights up or not in a future video. Looks like you may have a little bit of lighting here on the edges of the middle fan as well that light up. It looks like it may be some uh, lighting to it. You got a little red strip right here on the top inside the power connector. Flip over to the back. You got a few little red triangles, which is it seems to be pretty common on this on the 7900 XT and the XTX versions of the video cards. That is metal backplate. At least they gave you metal and not a, not a plastic. So I should probably almost assume that that's gonna help with heat, uh, getting rid of the heat. Um, those are the very back of it. Ain't a whole lot, nothing back there really. It is kind of angled on the edges. Looks kind of nice. They are a nice looking cord. Got a pretty big uh, heat pin, heat sink on them. This does run PCI 4.0, 16 slot. Uh, you'll definitely get all the, everything you need out of it with that PCI 4.0 slot. Looking here at the back of it here, there you go. You do have the silver expansion slots on the back of it. As you can tell, it is a two slot cord, but because the heat sink sticks up past that, it's gonna be a, actually a three, three slot cord. It's gonna cover up like two, two point two five of that third slot, so you ain't gonna be able to use that slot underneath of it. So basically, it is a three slot cord there. While we have it flipped up here, we do have one HDMI port on it that is a two point one. Then you're gonna have uh, two Display Ports, two point one, which is that one and that one. Then you do have a USB Type C. They said it does support up to four monitors. The resolution on it, max resolution is uh, 7680 by 4320, which is 8K. It's a triple fan solution. Thermal design power on this one, particular one is 300 watts. Recommends at least a 750 watt PSU. And it does have your normal, regular two eight pin connectors on it. it don't have, don't deal with that high, high voltage pin or whatever they call on that for uh, NVIDIA cords. Just does still support your regular eight pin connector which is nice to see especially with all the trouble they're having with them new connectors and videos came out with you really don't see much of the pvc but it does look like it does cover all the way to the very back unlike a lot of the bigger cords you know you have extra heat sink here on the back of it that ain't covering the pcb 
this don't seem to be doing that like i said this is does look a lot like the reference board for amd or the back plate got a little information sticker there you got a little radio and logo here that's in like a silver and you do have the few red dots on the back of it it does seem to be sterling made i mean there's no flex to it no bend to it it is pretty sleek design it is pretty well all blacked out the gpu length on it is 276 millimeter and even on the site here on new egg it says it's a three slot cord okay as far as the clock speeds on this goes it says it does have a game clock of 2000 megahertz and a boost clock up to 2400 megahertz and it's got 5376 stream processors to it it does have 20 gigs of ddr6 memory with a 320 bit bus to it so it should be pretty quick it should be pretty fast from what i've seen on these cords so far you know they're they're pretty good for 4k gaming definitely a higher frame rate of 1440p gaming if that's your cup of tea that you're looking for which we'll get into some of that whenever uh we do the benchmark video on it which will be in a separate video coming up on the channel but yeah it is does seem to be pretty pretty well built first the uh, real question is going to be the performance of it but you know being the first time me ever having a gpu this powerful or this you know this high class of one it should do pretty good for what i need i did pick this up for a personal build uh replace my 2070 super that should be a pretty good upgrade for me uh it does support the apis it supports the dx12 and open gl 4.6 which is the new standard uh the card first came out on december the 13th of 2022 if you're looking for an all black cord it's kind of gonna blend in with just about any system pretty much i think any build that you put together things are gonna look pretty nice like i said we'll have to wait till we get installed and see if them's actually lights or not kind of hope they ain't um, but it looks like the radio and logo may light up and you have a little bit of lighting here coming off this middle fan just like the reference design does i'm hoping that ain't right but it does look like it i'd prefer it not to have the lights on it but that's uh in a video coming up whenever i get it installed i believe the reference cord for amd actually has this pci express slot covers in the back in black well this one is a silver or a gray color it does seem to be pretty well secured down here at the bottom so that should help pretty well with the gpu sag in your case because it is well secured to the heater up here in the front or the cooling system on it yeah guys it's kind of unboxing and the first look at it and the specs that i could find on this particular gpu let me get flipped over here and i'll come up with the conclusions of the video all right i'll be took this thing out of the box and ran down through the specs i compared the specs of this with the amd reference board they seem to have the exact same specs i think sci-fi just took the reference pcb which is, ain't uncommon for partners to do this then release this gpu i believe it's going to perform just like the reference board can i don't see why it should not do do as well at least there is no there is uh just a single bias on this card this ain't a dual bias card but that's pretty common on one of the cheaper models i mean they the filming this thing does go for about 900 dollars on on new eggs that's still the cheaper model they do have a nitro plus that i didn't buy and they also have the pulse which i didn't buy this was the cheapest one that sapphire had out basically about the only one i get my hands on i was actually looking for the xtx because i think they were better value for the extra hundred bucks than the x performance you get out of them this will be a personal rig upgrade in my personal system also if you've seen the post i put out i did also have to buy me a new psu or a new power supply for my system i uh, will be upgrading that as well which will be in a future video benchmarks on this card inside my system you know that will be another video as well if you have any games you'd like to see me test on this gpu i've been looking to upgrade my benchmarking games you know, so if you have any recommendations or anything you'd like to see tested on it leave it in the comments below if i don't have the game maybe i'll pick it up it's just kind of hard to buy a 60 70 dollar game and never actually play them but i'm willing to do it if you guys is, you know want a particular game tested on this gpu but i think that's going to pay for a wrap it up for this video guys like i said there is a link in the description below so i pick one of these cards up my lunch down there may interest you don't get the lot of fun youtube stuff on your way down that description box and i'll see you in the next video or live stream.